So let's expand beyond this. We'll delete both of those, go back to our code. I'm really kind of bugged that, uh... oh wow, maybe it's a setting that I changed on something because nothing has bars. Is that a thing? Like really? I don't know what I did, but I don't know. It's kind of cool. <laughs> well, one way to fix that, we'll close that out and we'll go back to coding. So why was this important? Let's take this. We'll copy it over, except for now we're going to create a quad mesh. And in a quad mesh, we need one more variable. And it's actually going to be before that one. Because I always like to do top left, bottom left, top right, bottom right. And from here, create our method. Come back over here. Save ourselves a whole lot of work. Just copy all this stuff over. Dump it in here. We need to add a couple more, obviously. Our top right corner added to the mix. Our triangles, our first one stays the same, but we now have an additional triangle and we got to maintain that same reverse order. So to do that, what we have to do is say, uh, what's the best way of doing this? So this is 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3. Well, this here is even wrong now for me, right? Because top left, bottom left, top right. Nope, that's exactly how I want that. So then I'm going to go top right, Actually, let's go back to the bottom left. So we'll go back, so this kind of a pattern. So we'll go to point two, two, three, four, right? Yep, it drops off the first point and does the reverse order again for the next one. Except for it's going to four first and then ending at three. Kind of a weird kind of a thing, but that'll be the, from here, we have to now increment this to four because now there's four different vertices we have to set. And the UVs, we need to add one more. So this was the, we said this was the top left. This one here is the bottom. This one here was the bottom right. And then this one here should be the bottom left, which is, sorry, top right. Let's make this one top right. Go with the same kind of pattern, which would be a one, one, zero, one, zero, zero, one, 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 zero. Perfect, there's our quad. So now all we have to do to make our quad out of this is, well, change our call. Let's see. Mm -hmm. So again, and it's always good. We should do this. Top right, bottom right. You know, that way you can very quickly go through and you can see what this actually is, right? So we know we have increment this by one and make sure this can hold four and now this one here of course we know this one here was the top right because it was forward to the right and up forward to the right and down this one should now be forward to the right and up and then forward to the right and down and that'll be the pattern that we we make our quads in so on our call here, we call this add quad. And we know we can just pass it right in order. So zero, one, two, need to give it a third and three. And like I said, I don't want to forget. I told you there was a little bit more fancier math to this. And that math is now about ready to be revealed to you. So what we're going to do is in each one of these different parameters to the cross product, we're going to take the top left and we're going to minus the bottom right. And then we're going to take the top left and minus the top right. I've done tests on it and well, oddly enough, it works. And then build it and then we shall see what we have. Perfect. Let's open up our editor again. See if I can get some handles on our objects. <laughs> All right. So now if I drag in the basic shapes. I ah, see what happened. I messed it up, guys. I have one face in one way, one face in the other. All right, so I passed in the wrong parameters. Well, no problem. We know it's here, right? And we didn't even do it in the right order. So top left, bottom left, top right, bottom right, right?
Top left. Oh, ha. Do you see that, guys? I added them in the wrong order. This is what's causing all of my nightmares. This has to match. So top right. Bottom right. Top left. Bottom left. It's their direction. Again, I have, often have to remind myself as well. It's their right, not yours. So what we're going to do is just make an effort to make sure we're matching um, all the way across the board. I realized that that was kind of anti-intuitive. So we're going to change it. Which is probably why I'm getting so confused. Top right, bottom right, top left. No, we need bottom left. So we'll paste this all in. Take out the top. Like that. And take out the top here as well. Top right, bottom right. Like that. So we still want to go in the right order, and then this will be fine. So top right, bottom right, bottom left. That might make more sense. Coming down here, do the same thing. Top right, bottom right, top left. I was already doing it, so there we go. And then what I want here is top right, bottom right, and I'd like to go up top. So one, two, three, two. One way of thinking about this is actually Go backwards in order. So uh, four, three, two, and then let's try that. And that should be reverse order for both. And that should be facing front. Oh, of course, because I made it top right instead. Face front and drag it out to the world. And looky, looky, now it's facing forward and just like it's supposed to. All right, so what's the big deal, bub? Well, now let me take a minute and explain why I coded it in the way I did. I wrote this specifically in different methods for the following reason. How do I get to, this is my, my framework to everything. Um, I can build anything I want now. So let's go ahead and create a new actor. We'll call it PM cube. Really kind of weird. Every time I do something different, it crashes the system. You know what I mean? Got another crash. Don't know why. But is what it is. It keeps opening up afterwards. All right. So what I was saying, why do I do that? Well, now I can create a whole new shape. And the process is pretty much the same. We know we're going to get rid of this. Come over here. I can get rid of all of this up to here. And it doesn't take a whole lot of time for me to get the basics. So I know from here, I'm going to need all the way up to here. I just take that, go to my header, paste it in. And you know, I know I could have just done a, a class derived from the other one. I, I don't have it structured in a way that would really allow that unit right now, uh, maybe down the road. So for right now, I will just do this. And then even here in this one, a little trickier, but if you pay attention to see what I'm doing, copy everything all the way up until here. Come right below, paste that all in. And of course, that's always going to give you a big old error. But copy this, come down here, highlight that, and hit Control H. Brings up your find and replace. Paste in the one you want. Replace all. All five methods have been correctly adjusted. Come back over here to the source. Take the code from within that. Paste it in. Build. Everything built fine. So now, the next assignment was the cube. Well, how hard is it to go from this to a cube? Any guesses? This, we're going to need eight. 
there's eight vectors. And then every one of these are gonna be in the backwards vector. And then, oddly enough, what you gotta do is flip your Y vectors. So it, I know you couldn't see my hand motion, but I'm doing kind of a flip flop kind of a thing. Reversing the side, so it's facing outward. And then from there, I know, I know this is crazy, right? Uh, how many sides are there? Six, one, one, two, three, four, five, and six. So this here is gonna be front. We can leave that one alone. This one here, I like to do things kind of in order. Um, well, I say order, but in order for me. So this is actually gonna be the left side, which actually ends up being vectors two, three, and four. Two, three, four, five. Okay. So we're gonna go two, three, four. And you know what? Now might be a good chance to do this. So when doing the cube, there's a couple of things we have to keep in mind to remember. And I do this all the time. I have pieces of paper all around me. No joke. What I will do is this. So we know this one here is zero, one, two, and three. And then make another box. And cause again, everything's flipped. This is four, five, six, and seven, right? Cause this one here is the front faces that way. Um, so anyway, these are the things that define my cube. I will try to keep tapping to make sure that stays open. I'm pretty sure it should, but I've been wrong before. And you'll be able to see as we go through why I'm saying what I'm saying. So we're gonna go ahead and make the the um, the left side. It's left, not ours. So two, three, four, and five. This here is gonna be facing to the negative, right? Because it's facing um, to its left. So the tangent on this. Let me see. Uh, the tangent on this is going to be forward. And that should be that. Coming down here to this one, this is gonna be the back. And because it's the back, that means we're gonna have, let's see, what vectors is that? Well, first off, the tangent for the back is gonna end up being negative one, which is the reverse of the front. And then the back vectors, are the four, five, six, and seven. So four, five, six, and seven. Moving down further. Now we can go to correct in this one because I put that in the wrong one. There we go. This one here is the right. And the right tangent is a negative one here. And that can go back to zero like it was supposed to be. And of course, looking at the grid, we know right is six, seven, zero, one. And keep in mind, the order does matter. Six, seven, zero, one, six, seven, zero. All right, so that gives us our cube uh, faces along the different corridors there. Now what we need is the front or uh, the bottom and the top. I typically like to do the top first, so we'll do top. The tangent for the top is going to be facing to the right, so we can actually leave that one alone. And of course, we know those vectors. It's kind of tricky when you're doing the top and the bottom. So imagine turning the cube so it's facing you. So our vertices in the right order are gonna be six, zero, four, and two. And now the bottom, it's gonna be the actual the opposite of the top as far as the tangents go. And then now imagine if you would the cube being tipped up so you see in the bottom. So our vertices are one, seven, three, and five. And believe it or not, that should be the only code I need to make the cube. So if I do that and All right, so we're gonna take our, what do we call it? Um, PM cube. And I get a crash. 
Ooh, I did something wrong. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, and six. All right. <laughs> uh, broke my first rule. This is what caused the crash. Four, five, six, seven. I was calling, you know, indexes in the array that didn't exist. All right. Build it. Reopen it. And redrag that into the world. And there we go. With one messed up side. Any others messed up? Yep, on either side. Top and bottom are fine. Oh, just that one. All right, and it's the, what is that? The left side. And that's why. The left side is two, three, um, what do we say that was? The left side is two, three, four, five. I forgot to put a five in. All right. So guys, here we go. That's why when you have all the methods in place, you can add as many sides or do anything you want with very little code. Um, you just create the mesh and apply it and you're good to go. All right, so that's gonna be it. Kind of a longer video. Um, I'll edit it down as much as I can, but I still know it's gonna be a little bit long. The next video, what I will do is show you guys how I dynamically change it via these options here. You can see over here in the corner, I have the cube, but if I change anything in here, it doesn't do anything. But what's the point in that? Well, we'll tie that all in in the next video. All right, thanks.